Okay, greetings everyone. Welcome to Gerard Black and the Philippines with the Truth. I'm going to check on my subscribers, subscribers, my listeners, my... Let me check this dude out. <laughs> yeah, I, I, all of you who, my commenters, all of you who have helped make me, you know, inspire me to find my, I guess, you know, uh, uh, a committed path in life. Well, you know, today is uh, Saturday, and what we're going to do is we're going to have like a family day. We're going to do family activity with my family today with my son, Raphael. Hello. And my other son, Michael Chris. Hello. And what we're going to do is we're going to play Monopoly. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Monopoly is a very good game uh, where it teaches, the, uh, especially children, how to handle money, you know, uh, about buying property, investments, building homes, you know, uh, <laughs> paying rent, going bankruptcy. <laughs> you know? So, so it, it's a very good game to, uh, uh, you know, to spend some time with your family with. So, we're going to play some monopoly right now. We are setting. Uh, Michael Chris is going to be the bank. He's setting the bank up. He's setting the bank up, and uh, and shortly we'll be playing the game of Monopoly. Uh, give me a towel, please. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, I found out some news yesterday from them, and I was quite shocked, but I was overwhelmed that they have decided that they wish to take on my last name, McLeod. Is that right, Raphael? Yes. <laughs> Well, <laughs> is that right, right, Raphael? Yes. Why? Why? Why you want to use the name of Cloud? Um, I just want it. Want it? To have a middle name. Oh, to have a middle name. So your name would be what? Raphael G. McLeod. Ah, G. McLeod. I like that, McGowan. I like that. And yeah, you want to have it too, Michael Chris? For the same reason, I'm sure, right? <laughs> so that really touched my heart. So I told them that um, is all the money out. No, Michael, just take it. Um, I told them that what we'll do um, this year is that I will file the, the paperwork to adopt them because uh, that's the only way they're going to be able to um, use my last name or have my last name is, is I if I adopt them. And oh, where, where are who, who, who's the sports car? That's mine. Uh, excuse me, can I, can I pick? Uh, in Monopoly, you have different symbols to use um, to go around the board. You can be, um, let me see, let me pick out a few of them and you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. These are, these are the motels. You can put motels on your property. Or you can put little tiny houses, houses on your property. Uh, and uh, so Raphael's going to be a sports car. You see the sports car there. And Michael Chris is going to be a shoe. You can see the shoe there. And I'm going to be, because I wear so many hats, I'm going to be a hat. Okay. Uh, okay. So oh, these are my ones. Okay. Before you start, each one gets uh, X amount of dollars to start a game with. Okay. And you have to roll the dice to see who goes first. And whoever's the second highest goes second. And the lowest goes last. Okay. So roll the dice, Raphael. 
Okay, uh, okay, Michael Chris. Eight. Seven. Uh, seven. Six and one is seven. And I got six. So it's one, two. We have the same. No. No, you have seven. You seven. Okay, so Michael Chris, Raphael is going to kick it off. So he gets nine. And what's the name of the property? Connecticut Avenue. Connecticut Avenue. Do you want to buy it? Yes. Okay, he doesn't want to buy that property. Michael Chris, so you. I tried to explain to them that there are some properties that are more valuable than others when it comes to paying rent if somebody lands on it. Seven. Okay, he gets a chance card. You have a chance card, it's going to tell you what he, he got. Advanced to boardwalk. Okay, and does it say if you pass off? No, okay. So, advance to, advance to boardwalk. Where is boardwalk? Whoa, so you go all the way around the board. <laughs> ah. And you know, every time you pass go, you get 200, 200 pesos. Okay. <laughs> okay. My turn. I got six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. What's it? What's the name of it? Oriental Avenue. No, Oriental Avenue. Is, how much is it? One hundred dollars. Okay, I, I I will buy Oriental Avenue. One hundred dollars. I'm buying it. Now I get to see how much the house is on. Okay, how much are the houses? With one house, $30. With two house, $90. With three house. Is that rent or buying? Rent. No, I'm buying. I'm just oh, not buying. The more mortgage value? Yeah, no way, I'm just saying. Where do you go? Okay. Okay, right here on the bottom. What does it say? House cost 50 each. Hotel cost 50 each. Okay, so I'm going to buy one hotel and one house. So how much is that? 100. How much is that, banker? 100. Okay, here. Okay. So give me, excuse me, yeah. One house and one hotel. Okay, so I, as I was saying, as a status of, of them being my children once I adopt them, then they become eligible for, they fall under the GI Bill, which means that their college will be paid for. Uh, it also may mean that they will get some type of support allowance, you know, until they're 18 years old or 21 years old, as long as they stay in school. The same thing as my daughter. They will have the same rights and privileges as my uh, biological daughters have. So, which is a good thing. And why wouldn't I want to try to ensure that their future and these boys uh, get as much as they can out of loud life and um, be eligible for a lot of things um, uh, in life. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, Five plus six is how much? Five plus six is how much? No, it's six plus four. Oh, six plus four is how much? Okay. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, you like that railroad, don't you? You gonna buy it? Okay. Maybe before we finish up today, um, 
I, I, I showed Raphael how to play chess, the name of the pieces and everything like this. And he's come a long way, boy. <laughs> so maybe we'll get a little chess game so you can see how he's progressed. When we first got the chess board, they were playing it as checkers. <laughs> I said, what are you doing? This is chess, not checkers. But they were playing it as such. A house costs one fifty each and the day one fifty each. Okay, what are you gonna buy? Two hotels. You're gonna buy two hotels. So how much is two hotels, banker? Two. One fifty, one fifty. How much is that? One fifty. Oh. One fifty, one fifty, how much? Three hundred. Right, okay, good, good. Great. Oh here. He really doesn't need these behind him, I don't think. <laughs> okay, we go and check and see how much the houses cost. So this way, if he wants to put houses on his property. This game can go on for hours. We usually go to somebody bankrupt. So don't worry, we're not going to let you um, um, uh, watch that long. Uh, I tell you what, when someone lands on somebody's property that has a house, we'll call it a day. Right now, Mike, right now, Michael Chris is deciding whether if he wants to buy a house or a hotel on his property right now. Michael Chris, are you going to buy a house or a motel? Yes. Uh -huh, okay. How many? What are you going to buy? Uh, How many houses? One house each. Four hotels and one and two. Four hotels? No. Two. Uh, how, many, how many is the hotel? Huh? Okay, okay. And how much is the house? Okay, so how many hotels are going to buy? How many you want? Two houses, one house, three houses? Four, four hotels. You want to buy four hotels? Mm -hmm. Okay, and how much is that? 50 times four. Look, count it, look. Look, look here. Yeah. 50, that's 150. How much second is 50? 100. And the third 50? 150. And the fourth 50? 100. That's how much is four houses? Okay, there you go, boy. Okay. All right. So give that man four hotels. Chance. Boy, he gets all the chance cards. I guess that means, let me read it. Our building the one mattress collect. What? Your building you want materials collect one. Wait, I was in your building material. Oh, your building loan matures. You know what matures mean? Mature means that if, um, when you're a baby, you're a baby. When you're an adult, you, are you listening? When you are an adult, you mature. So that means like, if, if you pay 100 for your building material, after two years, now your building material is worth 300. So you mature it. So you collect 150. Go ahead. Okay, here we go. Papa needs a new pair of shoes. Ah, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, three parking dogs, okay? Only one. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Give me a little chest. Community Chess is another card that you can get and it tells you what, what, the, what does the card say? 
Holiday fun, but yours received one hundred. Oh yeah, he gets one hundred. It's holiday fun, but yours. Oh okay. My request. Three. How many? Three. Huh? Three. 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 Put your tongue in your teeth. Three. 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 No, you're still on three. 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 Yes, say it again. Three. 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 Not three. Not three. 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 No. Three. 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 Use your tongue. Three. Three. Yeah, there you go. Say it again. Three. Three. Yeah, one more time. Three. Three. Good, 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 good. Three. Okay, Mia, can you make me a drink with your chance? Uh, oh. 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 Yeah, you just been in jail. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's so bad. You're the first son to go to jail. No, you're visiting jail. Maybe they're visiting their father. <laughs> Okay, so Michael, where's your go? Oh, it's your turn. Oh, he just made it? Okay. Okay, I got five. Six. Or six. six. One, two, three. What's that, Atlantic? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to Atlantic Avenue. Atlantic Avenue. 160. Huh? 160. No, I'll pass. Right. Almost. Almost. He gets $200. Uh, $200 and he passed off. 2020, actually. Why? It says, income tax. We found collect 20. Oh, okay. How much? 20. 20. Very good. Okay, Michael Price, your turn. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yay, you made a chest. You are uh, assessed for street repairs, $40 per house, $115 per hotel. Okay, so my assessor went up, so that means I get 40 paid $40 per house, and one fifteen for one hotel. So, how many houses do I have? Uh, one, I mean, two houses and two hotels. Okay, so give me uh, eighty dollars for the house, and, and how many for the hotel? How many hotels I got two, and one fifteen each is how much? And fifteen, fifteen is how much? Thirty. So, so I get what? Three hundred fifty. 200. Oh, 200. 230. What, what is this? Luxury tax. Guess what he landed on? He landed on an engagement ring. Pay $20. Pay 100. <laughs> oh, pay 100. Pay $100. Uh, all this talk about engagement ring. I was looking at it and I was going to mention something about. But look what happened. Boom. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah! Oh. <laughs> uh, see, that's why I say the same thing make you laugh, make you cry. I had to go to jail too. This <laughs> is <of> my son. <laughs> okay, can you read chess? Let's see what it says. Oh, okay. uh oh, I think that's bad. Oh, yeah, you saw, you saw the uh, Monopoly guy. Doctors fee 50 pesos. But, <laughs> but I, 
I feel good. I I, I feel good. <laughs> I have to pay fifty dollars here. Yeah. Give me my chain, Mr. Banker. The moon chest. You know, when we finish this game or at the end of this video, I'll tell you another story about Monopoly. Life insurance matters correct when Oh. Life insurance? Did somebody die? I don't see. I don't see. Ah. Life insurance matures. We just talked about insurance. Maturity. Maturity. We collect one hundred dollars. And the lucky one. Yeah, yeah, you are the lucky one. <laughs> the baby always is the lucky one. <laughs> Don't count ahead of time. Count. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He tries to kill the expense and counts ahead in his eyes and his mind. Congrats. Wait, read the card. You read it. Oh, advance the goal, collect the Okay, that's what it says. Oh! Oh, who's who probably? That's mine. Oh! Let's see, go back because he might have to mortgage his property. <laughs> no, oh, matter of fact, we said that we would videotape this until someone lands on someone's property. And he just did. So we're going to stop here because this could go on for hours, okay? So you guys say goodbye. Michael Chris, say goodbye. Bye. Okay, thanks for watching Gerard Black in the Philippines. We're not finished with you yet. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. As I promised you, we're going to uh, play a game of chess. I taught Raphael how to play chess, and while Raphael sets up the board, set up the board. <laughs> while Raphael sets up the board, I will tell you how our Monopoly game ended. It ended with Michael Chris, you know, going bankrupt. <laughs> Before we signed off, he had all the money, but then he lost it. You know, it was, uh, uh, because of landing on uh, on uh, other people's property, he wasn't able to pay the mortgage, and uh, I was very interesting to watch Raphael make a deal with with uh, Michael Chris for his property. It, they shook hands like real businessmen, <laughs> and then Raphael took over his property. <laughs> so it was good. But what I want to tell you the story about that. Once upon a time, I, I had a girlfriend who had a son. And his thing was Monopoly. And he knew all of the the properties, all of the rental values, all the mortgages. It was absolutely amazing how he memorized the whole game. Set it up, Raphael. <laughs> you just took the pieces out. And now you set them, set them up and then we choose. Okay. Because I'm going to talk while, while I'm uh, explaining to him. No, way. I, I will help him. Okay, come on. Uh, we'll choose. Okay. Now, um, I showed him, uh, after naming all the pieces, the movement of the pieces, and he has progressed quite well. And fortunate for you, you won't get to be able to watch the whole game because, you know, chess can go on for a very, very long time. So we're not going to uh, have you uh, watch the whole game. What we're going to do is that we're going to start it, and then at, uh, at the end of the game, then I'll start back recording, and if you're a chess player, you can pretty much understand the game by the amount of pieces that were captured throughout the game. We'll set those off to the side here, so you can see, Raphael, let's see, move a little bit closer here. Okay, you move over a little, no, you move over a little closer. Move your chair over. Okay, so Raphael got white, so he moves first. Joe move, young man.
<laughs> I, uh, we, we figured out the three move checkmate. I wonder if he's trying to pull it off on me. But that just goes to show you um, how, how well, uh, what kind of student he's been. Okay, now let me see. Uh, we're going to let him, you know, uh, let him see. You know, he moved his queen out there kind of early, so we're going to see what he's going to do with it. Michael Chris is learning a little bit about chess too, right, Michael Chris? Chess. And there it is. There it is. Oh, oh. Okay. He actually was going to try that three move checkmate on me. But, how? It's too bad we don't have an overhead uh, camera so you can see, watch the game. Mia, can you make me a drink, please? We had a very good day today. We had the puppies outside, and now they're back inside because I wanted to bring them in at night. I don't want to leave them out there because um, no telling what could happen to them, especially with the lead dogs inside. <laughs> so we're still in there. So we're still our whole litter. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and, and we wouldn't want that to happen. Okay, so um, Raphael is going to give me a bishop. I will right, we'll take it. Okay, let's see. I'll put it up here so you see. Okay, and I'll uh, post. Um, okay. Wait a minute. I took your picture. What did you do? Not yet. Oh, no, you did. Oh, so you don't need Oh, excuse me. Okay. Okay, I guess I will trade a knight for a book. I gotta watch him, he can be very sneaky. What is that? Okay, so rather than watching the whole game, we're going to pause right here and we'll pick it up at the end and you can kind of see how this chess game ended up. Remember, you're watching Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, share, and like. And watch a commercial or two, right, Raphael? Let's watch some commercials. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, we are pretty much at the end of the game. I don't know how well you can see the pieces, but I just asked my son, can you see checkmate? Often the time, I might see it and it was wrong. He was able to get away from it. But I'm asking you, do you see checkmate? If you move, 
Ah, uh, this one here. I will use this one. And no, it would, it would be my move to checkmate. When you checkmate, what does that mean? That means your king cannot move anywhere. Yes. So right now, where can your king move? Here. Okay, and where else? Here. No, only can move one square at a time. You only can move where? To that one square, right? For me to checkmate you, what must I do to checkmate you? Or to check you? I have two rows. Remember I, I spoke to you, whenever you have two rows on the same line, it's very good, it's very good. Because you have control over the, over the board and you can move the king wherever you want to. But my moving the rope down here, that would be considered checkmate. You see that? Because you, because you have nowhere, no place where you can move your king. See, I thought maybe you can move the rook here and could stop it, but you can't because your king is going this way. It's only where it can go. So you see? See, this rook is protecting that rook. So you see, you can't move your king. You see it now? Yes. Okay. Because your king only can move one square at a time. Okay, so with that being done, with that being said, look, look. okay, so I ended up checkmating Raphael again, and the game is over. You know, I, I told him the story that I learned how to play chess in the military, and I was the CO's personal driver, and my other friend was the company commander's personal driver. And we both got chosen because we were strapped. That's what we call it, strapped. That means that we were well-dressed. We got exempt from guard duty because whenever you dress up in boots, boot shine, uniform sharp, crease and all that stuff, if you win it three times in a row, you get exempt from guard duty. And we are, uh, were considered like the elite uh, soldiers in the unit. So I was driving the, the company, uh, he was driving the, the commander and I was driving the company commander. Uh, po, he was driving the post commander, I was driving the company commander, and he taught me how to play chess. And I would play him every day, every day, every day I'll play chess. And he would beat my ass every day, every day, every day. And what got me so mad about determined wanting to beat him, because after any, at the end of each time he would win, he would put this... <laughs> This dumb smirk on his face. I said, oh my God, I want to pop. I want to smash him. And eventually one day I beat him. And this is what I tell Raphael. We just play and just play and play until you're able to win. And that's, and that's how you learn the game chess. Of course, you can study to online. But right now it's more. Uh, he's doing good. I wanted to show, all, show you all the pieces that he captured from, my, from me and show you the pieces that I captured from him. And anyone who can play chess can can determine what time of game that was, all right? So thanks for watching, Gerard. I hope you enjoy our family day today. Remember, dreams are nothing more than plans and winning action. Never disrespect the elder always pulls someone up. And sometimes, sometimes, you're the only one to see your vision. And the best revenge in life is to live good. Are we living good today, son? Yes. Okay, and we hope you are too. And why are you, you can't stick your head in there. <laughs> And if you're lucky enough, you know, that a woman like Ali Woodson once sung formerly singing The Temptations, Treat her like a lady. And lady is lucky enough to have a good man like me make him feel like a king and never say no. And fellas, today was about not saying no to walking to the beach, you know, doing some things with my with my sons, or helping me out. Whenever they ask me to do something, I do it. And I know for the life of me inside of me, says, I don't want to walk to the beach. I, I don't want to do that. But then it's a small thing to a giant, you know, to make a family happy. So fellas, you know, if your woman asks you to do something and in your heart of hearts you don't want to do it, that's the time you should do it. Because you know why? Because it probably means the most to them. I'll talk to you later. I'll always love you more. Peace. Raphael, peace.